Alright, hello guys, I'm going to be bringing you a quick update on this new Invest 94L. I've been watching this one closely, and as of the current track that's expected, we could expect this one to become our next hurricane and our next threat to the Bahamas and the United States, unfortunately. But before I get started with this video, though, I would ask you to do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. That's where you can get more frequent updates from us. Now, looking at our satellite as of right now, you can see there's not too much uh, organization to it here. We do have a big uh, cluster of thunderstorms here, and this is eventually most likely going to start getting its act together over the next three or four days. Uh, within the next two days, our chance is quite low, but in the next five days, the chance is actually relatively high. Right now... We're going to move on and look at our, this is our two-day, 48-hour outlook here from the National Weather Service. And you can see they only give us a 10% chance of further development over the next two days from this one, which is good news that for now, we're not looking at too much development. Uh, but as we look at the next five days, you can see we actually have a 60% chance. And we have it moving into that same area that Dorian moved into, possibly the Leeward Islands, possibly towards Puerto Rico and areas like that, though I think it's possible that it actually goes pretty far north of Puerto Rico. That's very far in the future, so it's going to be hard to tell as of right now. Looking at our sea surface temperatures, though, throughout the Atlantic, we do have very favorable conditions for this storm to head into, and it shouldn't have too much trouble, uh, trouble developing with these sea surface temperatures. The only thing that's actually going to give it trouble here is that we do have relatively... I would say moderate shear in the Atlantic. We do have some of those areas of yellow and red. That's areas of high, medium to high shear, and it is going to be battling those throughout its venture across the Atlantic. So that might actually keep it relatively weak as far as hurricanes are concerned. Now, also, we're going to look at our spaghetti model outlook here, and you can see it takes this little southwest dip and then goes back north. This is a historic sign of you know, very strong hurricanes, they usually take this track and usually a lot of times we see storms that end up doing this little southwest dip end up hitting the United States eventually. We will see if that actually remains accurate or if that is just, you know, some observation that doesn't necessarily mean that it will happen. We'll, we will see though as we continue to track this one. Now here's the GEFS ensemble run and you can see it's a, it has that same southwest dip and they're relatively confident in the track up until about 72 hours and then you can see they go all over the place but they still stay relatively close to each other and they're going to have it eventually moving directly west or a little bit northwest from that point here's your intensity guidance and you can see there is two models that keep it never hitting tropical storm status but besides that we have six models that actually have it going into tropical storm status and out of that six we have four reaching category one status and we've seen with Dorian that these models can't always be trusted to be perfect. And even though they're calling for just a tropical storm or category one hurricane, doesn't mean that this one can't be eventually a major category three or above hurricane. This just means that for now, this is the very least we expect is probably a tropical storm. And we'll take it from there. Once it's a tropical storm and we see it moving, we'll be able to tell you know, have a much, much better idea of how far we expect this one to develop. Anyway, guys, uh, this has been a quick update for 94L. Expect more videos. I'm going to be doing more, uh, I'm going to be trying to work on the snowfall video that's, that's very similar to the freeze forecast. So be looking forward to that one. Anyway, guys, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.